Hello, we're down in the southwest with Sigma Ambassador Lee Tippett. Hello, Lee. Sir. Today we are actually looking at one of the special features on the Sigma FP, which I don't think many other cameras have, do they? No, it's a, it's a feature that Sigma uh, introduced on the FP, and it's it's cool. It's really really good. So what it does, it enables you to take images um, during this time of the day. So we're talking now almost lunchtime with uh, exposures of around one to two minutes, uh, which is amazing during the day. This is perfect for you. If you miss that sunrise or sunset, you can just come out and just snap that's, away. And that's going, it, yeah. You? Earlier, I, I, I took an image without any filters, just purely the camera on its own, and uh, I was getting a reading of about a quarter of a second. Adding a filter all of a sudden gives me a um, exposure time of about two seconds, but then by putting the camera onto ISO 6, it gives me a 120 second exposure. So, Whoa. you know, I'm, I'm able to, to get that lovely milky water yes. look. So in terms of the extra stop difference, how much does actually ISO 6 give us? It, it's to around about a four stop difference, but in, in terms of light, it's about 16 times more light at ISO 100 as opposed to when you're using ISO 6. Right. So it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's really um, a useful tool for people like me that you know once the, the lights faded a little bit but you still want to shoot these lovely mm -hmm. long exposures uh, that the ISO 6 capability of the camera really does shine you know it's a, it's a great okay. feature and I guess as well if you want to keep the rig very lightweight and small you don't have to include your, your filters on the front because no you have no that that's right setting. I mean I've uh, it's a little bit bright now but earlier I was I was shooting uh, with, with just purely a, an ND grad for yeah. the sky, with no, uh, no ND filter and just the ISO 6. So I was still having relatively long exposures, 30 seconds uh, and more. So Lee, can you tell us how ISO 6 actually works? Right, yeah. Um, what the camera does, it takes, takes 16 images, mm -hmm. blends them together in camera. Wow. Um, so uh, they're all ISO 100 and relatively fast exposures as well. So talk us through your settings and actually how you do set up an ISO 6 shot. Right, you need to go into the ISO settings in the menu. And then when you get, once you go into the ISO settings, there's a, a, a sub-menu and one of them will say expanded mode. So you go into that one and then that enables you then to select whether you want to extend the ISO range. I then go into the quick set on the camera, which is just the QS button. And then the top left hand corner is the ISO setting. Simple as that, it's really easy. So I believe you're gonna take some special shots for us now on yeah, ISO I 6. Yeah, I am, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll try some and just see what we can get. So bearing in mind, it's almost the middle of the day. It's amazing to be able to get one minute exposure times. As you can see, there's plenty of movement in the water and the sky, but of course, everything's pin sharp. And around sunrise and sunset, you're easily looking at five minute exposure times, which is just incredible. As a comparison, the image on the left here was taken at ISO 100 with no filter, and that resulted in a 16th of a second exposure time, and there's no visible blur at all. In the middle shot, I ended up adding a six stop filter, and that resulted in a four second exposure time with some blur. And then the shot on the right, I went down to ISO 6 on the camera, and it ended up resulting in a 60 second exposure time and plenty of nice motion blur in both the sea and the sky. So ISO 6 really is a useful function for long exposure photography.